Hello everyone and welcome and a happy new year as this is the very first video that I am making since the year has changed. It is a custom in my country that we wish each other a happy new year. Today I will be painting Sir Palamides, the Saracen Knight. Now, I will explain the process through which I paint him in a short amount of time. But first, I would like to talk a little bit about what has been going on in my life and why uh, the videos have been a little um, shortcoming. Well, uh, during the holidays, uh, I spent some time with my family and got some painting done. It was uh, about time. Unfortunately, because it was winter and um, because having two little kids who go to kindergarten and school means you are now part of an entire community and my immune system is quite shoddy to say at best. I spent the majority of the time coughing and sneezing and having a incredibly ragged voice and was barely able to speak. So fully editing the videos was completely out of the question. Oh, on the topic of editing videos, filming them apparently is no longer that much of an issue. It's actually quite easy. Editing, however, takes a very, very long time, especially when you do a bunch of videos mixed together because you want to show how you paint each and every miniature and so you leave one down, continue with another and then you have to cut the videos and mix and match them. Yeah, that takes a really long time. And yes, I also have a job. And while you're going to say, well, you know, the holidays were like a month ago. Well, yes, but, you know, the whole editing process while doing a full time job and taking care of the kids is um, really, really difficult to juggle everything. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying uh, this is not one of those big channels. It's a small channel and I get the time to work on these whenever I can. Mostly, you know, after 10 o'clock. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm either sleeping or editing. Mostly sleeping because it's a tiresome, tiresome day. Uh, and, um, yeah, so that is the reason why uh, the Guns Go series were not voiced. They were also incredibly short. Speaking of the Gods Ghosts, uh, I hope you like them. Uh, thank you again, you know who you are, who gifted these uh, for my uh, name day, which was two months ago, basically. But again, it takes a while to actually film and edit everything. But I absolutely love them. I hope to get to paint them soon. I even bought some new paints. I can't wait to try them out, some contrast paints. Hopefully they will work great on their camo cloaks and I will do them justice because I am a huge fan of the Gaunt's Ghost uh, book series. I've read them all and uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that I get to paint them soon um, and I really hope uh, you guys watch them because I absolutely love them. Also, they were by far my most watched videos. I don't know whether it was the incredibly short time that they had or whether everybody just loves Gaunt's Ghosts. I think a little bit of both. 
but uh, don't worry about it when I paint the miniatures uh, it will be a full length video for uh, each character yeah uh, also apparently uh, a few months ago uh, YouTube unlocked my community tab which was before a feature that should have been unlocked at uh, 100 subscribers and now apparently everybody gets it uh, so that's awesome that's great uh, unfortunately I don't think anybody knows about it uh, I posted a, a single thing over there uh, which was basically the channel anniversary and uh, yeah I plan to make uh, use of it further so uh, hey if you like uh, polls and uh, being more involved from with this channel please consider subscribing please subscribe <laughs> kidding uh, if you enjoy it uh, do share uh, share it with a friend and give a like it really helps um, what else what else what else oh yeah uh, editing like I said editing takes a long amount of time an enormous amount of time uh, doing all of this uh, is actually for a one hour video that I post here or a half an hour video that I post here the editing part roughly takes at least that amount of time of editing and if we count uh, voiceovers then we double that finding the time to finding that hour in my lifetime right now is quite difficult but I will try to uh, find the time as often as I can Getting back to the miniature for a little bit, I started by painting his uh, pants <laughs> and his uh, undercloth, basically, his clothes uh, black with a highlight of gray. Um, the black is a dollar store craft paint, I think. Nothing too expensive or something I just have lying around. Basically, my black is always that. I used the same black color for his shield as well. And painting that checklist pattern, wow, that was real hard work. I did do the black checkers first before I fixed any mistakes I made with white. I have a titanium white from a an acrylic tube paint and it has enough coverage that it can cover any mistakes I make. From what I saw in uh, the reference picture of his character sheet, there was a shade effect that was only visible on the white checkers, so I did not try to replicate it on the black checkers. This actually helped quite a lot. I don't know about the other three-handed checkers, but these were really easy to paint. Well, actually, I think it's just my opinion. But uh, because of the um, 3D effect that the grooves had, because they were have grooves, I didn't really have to freehand all those checkers. But overall, while it was a painstaking process, it was incredibly worth it. And incredibly fun. Well, you know, sort of. Because it was boring. Because in real life, I don't know if you can tell, but this footage is a, bit, a little bit sped up. Just enough so that it's not boring. I don't know if anybody else does this, if any other painters do this, but basically it allows me to shorten my videos from three hours. I'm kidding. It doesn't take me three hours to paint uh, just the checkers. But overall, I think the shield took like half an hour with the correcting mistakes, highlights, and all of the other uh, 
little effects that I thought of. I don't really know if that is uh, long or short, but uh, that's how long it took for me. Hopefully that is an appropriate amount of time. I don't know how much time or anybody dedicates to each of their minis, but it was what I decided was okay and I was happy with the results. And yeah, that's uh, basically about it. Which <clears throat> which brings me to another topic that I wanted to talk with you. I uh, also spent a lot of time on YouTube uh, this past holiday. And one of the things that uh, came up and the nice video that I saw was uh, from a, another much bigger YouTuber than me who mentioned that, hey, just paint. Uh, stop looking at all those uh, big guys doing incredibly details on their uh, minis and how, oh my god, I'll never be as good. Stop doing that. Just go for tabletop quality, whatever uh, makes you happy, whatever you are happy with, and just paint. So that is also what I have been doing. I've been trying to push myself and to do as much um, as, and to get out of my comfort zone as much as possible and do all the stuff that I wasn't really up to doing. Um, however, I leave out stuff that is absolutely way too hard for me at this moment and I don't think I have the tools in order for me to do it, such as eyes. For example, even this uh, miniature does have eyes, but painting them would have been literally impossible, or at least for me right now. So I did what I could. I did. Whole co I will cover the eyebrows. I will show you later on. But that is all that I was comfortable doing, and it came out looking great. But the point I'm trying to make is, ah, uh, don't try to be a masterclass painter out of the gate. I'm not trying to, and I know this might not simply be a popular um, conception. Uh, I'm just happy to share with you guys my process and what I'm doing. And hopefully, soon enough, I will be able to show you more. One of the techniques that, uh, while it's not necessarily a technique, what I don't really like it is not that I'm not good at it, because apparently, from what I saw, I did a good job, but either I'm not using the correct colors or something like that, is edge highlighting. I tried that, and I did that on a few models, you will see it on the Tao uh, videos, but they don't look good to me, uh, at least to my eyes. So basically, since they're already in 3D, and the light that I have in my house, in my painting studio, in my... Uh, filming, uh, apparently, filming again. It's a phone. It's just a phone and a bunch of desk lamps, and um, th they still offer enough um, lights and shadows and stuff. That basically, if you already have a model that has a uh, complex shape it will actually generate all those shadows by the light that you normally use it to show the, to see the miniature again. And that's why I don't see the point of uh, all these uh, edge highlights and uh, wet blendings and uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's at least my personal opinion and something that right now I am not going to try to do. I do look forward to having a few to painting a few miniatures though i don't have any yet that need this to painting uh osl which is object source lighting basically if the miniature is holding a lantern and stuff like that i would like to see be able to paint something that has a glow on it or something like that but again i'm not ready for that yet and um I don't have a miniature that actually does have that either, yet. No, this is not a, a 
things to come video, but uh, you know, you, you get my message. Uh, this is something that I look forward to doing at some point in time. The boots I painted black, and while it does not seem a good idea at the moment, it will actually still stand out versus the base, which I will also be painting black in just a few moments. But um, yeah, it, it does stand out in the end, especially due to all, all the detail work that is done on it with um, the highlighting color. And uh, what I wanted to say was that, again, life happens. So as I was doing the voiceover for this, which actually took a full two days due to the limited time I have of actually working on these videos. I know I complain a lot about this. Hmm. Maybe I should shut up and mind my own business. But what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, these videos take a lot of time to prepare, <laughs> basically. So one of the things that tends to happen when you stretch out these voiceovers over a course of a few days is you tend to lose your train of thought. So let's do a little bit more talking about what I'm doing right there, which was a little bit of wet blending. So I, after I painted the rock black, I uh, also added a few uh, different colors, grays and whites to blend them while the paint is still wet on the model to uh, give the feeling of a natural stone like um, uh, structure let's go with that and um, then I will uh, dry brush it also with every, each and every other paint that I have used so I will dry brush it black I will dry brush it with gray and I will dry brush it with white actually all of this um, to give the feeling of natural stone and to separate uh, his um, feet. And as you can see, with the paint a little bit dry, it actually looks very, very well. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, all of the figurines in the um, series had their bases in their dominant color. So the rocks they were standing on, I painted in almost the same exact same colors while trying to make them look a bit more realistic uh, for his uh, flesh undertone i used uh, buckman's glow and for the falcon i used uh, lead belcher i know it's a dark one darker one than the um uh reference picture makes it out to be but uh, it has a point because I have to highlight it and with the null oil and everything when then the highlights it will actually come off a bit more brighter with the null oil I only used in the um, uh, recesses in the filler of the sword moving on to the uh, first of the accents uh, the first highlights and everything I'm not sure if they're highlights. Anyway, the rim of the shield and all of the detail work on his armor will be painted with Retrofitter Gold. And at this point, you are already starting to get a sense of how awesome this miniature is going to be. And my god, is it looking amazing. Just look at that check pattern with a gold trim. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I absolutely love it. The full half hour that was painstakingly used to paint those checkers is actually now looking absolutely amazing.
there's not much I can say about all the detail work that goes on behind the, the rest of the video. So I will just keep quiet, let you enjoy the soft music and my entire process if you wish to see it. Please see it. I beg you. Please. Ah, only kidding. Yeah, only if you enjoy it. I know my videos tend to be on the long side of what uh, YouTube is uh, recently pushing in its algorithms, but I think um, I want to show how my process with the hobby is working. And um, actually, I just thought of something else to talk to you guys about. So let's talk about this channel a bit more. A lot of people, I don't even know what Enders CHG means. It's actually Enders Crafts Hobbies and Games. And I was actually planning on uh, doing a lot of stuff when I started this channel, not just painting uh, miniatures. I know literally all of my videos have been about painting miniatures, but uh, when I started this channel, I was planning on showing you guys all the work that I do, how I build uh, my um, hobby studio, how I am working on my house at the moment, and a lot of other things, maybe even do some uh, <clears throat> video gaming. But because I didn't want to be one of those channels where I are mega focused on one thing, but these videos were very easy to for me to learn how to film and uh, stuff. And I actually did some um, videos of me working. They're pretty boring on my house. But they're also the very first videos of me using an airbrush. Uh, air quotes here. Because um, I just finished painting all the wood elements of my house uh, for the terrace. And uh, I used a uh, paint gun instead of a brush or anything like that. And it was uh, really fun, while tiresome and very, very difficult at certain points. And it actually took a few uh, months to complete uh, because I could only work on certain days and certain uh, for a certain amount of time. But uh, yeah, that's one of the things. So... What I wanted to uh, learn from you guys is uh, through either comments or through the community tab, which I, again, I will uh, get on that as soon as possible <clears throat> and see what kind of contact, uh, content you guys would actually like and see if that would actually strike anybody's uh, fancy and see how things are going. Uh, we can uh, say now that... Uh, it is the house has reached a point where uh, the con the contractors are no longer working on it constantly. A long time ago, actually, almost a year now. Uh, and since that time, I um, been trying to do the best that I can with again a limited budget, and we are working basically on whatever we can scrounge up. So uh, let me go know if you guys would uh, be interested in seeing that um though i don't know how the videos are gonna come up uh as for the gaming side uh i've long been meaning to um replay one of my favorite games uh which is uh, gothic let me know if you guys are interested in that as well and uh or hey if you guys have a great idea for something that uh, you would like to see me do uh, hey, well, write me a comment. Also, I was planning if I ever do reach 100 subscribers to uh, upgrade my painting studio and make a different kind of box, basically. But this one would be sort of a permanent uh, studio with like a furniture look to it, sort of like a shelf desk something maybe i have the plans for it but i don't know i don't fully know how to describe it because one of my problems up until recently 
was that it really took a lot of time and effort for me to set up my studio because it involved me moving several monitors, um, bringing in a new uh, uh, wood board. I, I, it's a PAL. I don't even know how to pronounce it. In, uh, it's or if it's MDF or something, basically plywood. That's it. That's it's plywood. It's plywood. So basically, uh, I would have to bring in a plywood board, put it over my desk. It uh, had additional supports just so it could take the weight of my studio. But uh, in I have modified it slightly, and um, I, I can now just rotate it stuff like that. But it's still a bit clunky, and it kind of sort of takes uh, a lot of space and I can't use the monitors at the same time while uh, or my um, keyboard and mouse which is which are on the tray underneath and it's difficult for me to use that and I plan to change that by making a brand new studio but it's also a painstaking process and what I saw from other um, content creators other uh, hobby painters uh, are that um, they have a permanent studio. I cannot afford to have an entire desk dedicated to painting, no, no matter how much I would like that to be possible, as I have a, only a two bedroom apartment, and right now uh, one of the bedrooms is uh, for the kids. The other bedroom is my living room slash everything else. Living room, bedroom for myself and my wife, and uh, literally anything else we need to. We hold, hold our entire lives there, basically. Uh, and oh, and my office, because I also uh, have to work from home on certain days. So I can't really just say, oh, do I, I want to set aside an entire desk for my hobby miniatures. So it has to be very, very compact. But uh, back to the content of the channel. What I was planning and how I saw things, and one of the reasons why I focused so much on the um, Tau drones recently, though the videos are not out yet, they're coming, um, is to finally actually get started on having a complete army so that I can play with it. <laughs> and um, well, once it's, that is done, I also plan to make a kill team board of basically to make some terrain. And I want to use some unorthodox materials. Again, due to the fact that I was building a house and we had uh, some bricks. There were a lot of uh, tiny brick chunks left over which literally looked like debris in miniatures games and I wanted to see how I could use that and transform that into terrain and I really look forward to it especially because uh, all the other videos that I saw on uh, YouTube about people making terrain uh, they use um, polystyrene and cardboard which is incredibly light I, I totally see that but it also for me, it lacks weight. <laughs> so, I know because they're like, but you get the message. Anyway, I find the weirdest things funny. Anyway, basically, what I want is them to be able to put them on the table and know that they're not going to move when you accidentally bump the table or stuff like that. And they'll be heavy and stick to it. Yeah, uh, and also, I want to see if I can use something that is completely free and uh, for me at least and see how I can work with it and stuff. Plus it will actually give me a really good chance to use my Dremel. I have it, it's broken and I'm really hoping that uh, it's not but it's sort of old and stuff. You'll see when I get to it. Alright, so 
that's me talking about content. We are approaching the end of the video. Uh, shameless plug on my end now. Please subscribe. If you've reached this part, please subscribe again. I don't know. I think I mentioned like subscribe and share this video like three times already during this edit. But hey, make allowance for... Please make allowance for me. It's been a while. And I totally doing all these uh, voiceovers unscripted. Besides, I did them two days. I totally forgot uh, what I was previously talking about. So, uh, final plans. Uh, I plan on getting a few more... Um... Oh, how do... No, uh, you don't... Pl I plan to uh, make a few more accounts. Get a Facebook account for this channel. I plan to make a... Uh, Instagram or stuff, uh, post more videos, post more um, pictures So in the community tab, in other locations, get some more views, and uh, hopefully you guys will share it with your friends and uh, this channel will grow and I will get to build the second studio. I promise that I will actually film this process and uh, I promise that I will show you uh, the plan I'm working with which was already designed in 3D. Uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, all on my end for the video. You saw me already commenting, and this is me dry brushing the base with um, gray. And uh, yeah, hope you, you enjoyed this video. Hope uh, you find it interesting and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next one.